marching through that till. So, are you nervous? No, not really. Send it outside. Come on, get your coat. All of you out. Hey, we're not going anywhere. This is a travesty of justice. And he knows about travesties. Come on, man, you got the wrong end of the stick. It's a top class barmaid. <laughs> and he knows about barmaids. Don't want any trouble. Why don't we just move on? Hang on. I'm losing my livelihood here. How will I eat? How will I feed my child? This is unfair dismissal. We'll take you to a tribunal. You can't call me a thief. You have no evidence. You want evidence? I'll show you the takings. They've dropped through the floor since you started working here. There's plenty of beer flowing through them taps, but not much of it gets paid for. Come on, you have to allow for a bit of spillage. This is not a debate. Now out, everyone. Why don't we have a sit-down strike? Yeah. Well, we don't want to Hey, where's your solidarity? If this was your missus, I'd be right behind you. You're chucking out time anyway. No, there's a battle to be fought here, lads. We're not leaving until we get justice for Silla. Right! Justice! Fancy another drink? A lock in? Well, it's only be you, but if you like. <laughs> All right then. Well, just the one. I need my beauty sleep. I don't want to look tired and puffy in the morning. You never look tired and puffy. You're going to look gorgeous. Do you think? Hey, I know it. Does this bring back bad memories for you? Not really, no. I felt really special on my wedding day, like I was the most important girl in the world. <laughs> I feel like that now. Good. In fact, that's what Kieran does. He makes me feel like the most important girl in the world all the time. Then you are very, very lucky. I know. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Where's Patrick? On his way. What's happening? Oh, Leslie's bird's been sat for giving us free beat. Oh, great, so we need them. Is there a problem here? Too right is a problem! But we don't expect the likes of you to sort anything out. Hey, calm down, man. No problem, officer. We're just having a little discussion. Come on. You don't want to get involved. You, laughing, you don't man. want to get involved. I'm not getting involved. Listen, I'm keeping you out of trouble, right? Don't forget it's a big day tomorrow, remember? If you're looking for something to do, Colin Rothwell, landlord in there. Serves drinks to under 18s, sells them fags and all. You're getting a taxi. If you look at all your the babysitter. All right. You. Just calm down. Oh, if anybody else tells me to calm down, they're going to get a tick lip. Hey, listen, it was an accident, man. I slipped. See? No problem. Oh. We'll be on our way. Mm. Get in a taxi. If you don't let go of me, you're dead. Any more of that, we're taking you in. You're taking me in? He keeps shoving me. I mean it. If you don't want to spend the night in one of our cells, you'll pack it in. Right! Come on, you. Come on. Hey, what did I do? What did I do? Let's leave it. It's all right. Just go home, mate. Come on. You've got to take me up here tomorrow. Take good care of me. You know, some people will do anything to avoid a wedding. Right, let's be having you. What's happening? What's happening is you're a free man. You can go and get married. Oh, no. Well, then don't. That's up to you. All I can tell you is you're not stopping here. Well, I told him I don't want to pursue it, so I didn't let him out. It's very kind of you. So we can take it the wedding's still on, then, can we? You can take it that the wedding is definitely on, at least if I've got anything to do with it. Are you sure you want to marry me? Of course I'm sure. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Now, come on. And here they are. Sunita, yes? And Kieran? Yes. Very good. If you'd all like to sit down, please. I'd like to welcome you all to the marriage of Kieran McCarthy and Sunita Parekh. It's an important and significant occasion when they're committing themselves to one another. 
promising to love and care for one another for the remainder of their lives, and doing so in front of you, their friends. The vows they are about to make are solemn and serious ones, but also a cause for celebration, and I'm sure you'll be doing plenty of that later. So, Kieran and Sunita, if you two would now like to stand. No, I, I'm sorry. You all right? We mustn't. I'm sorry. Sunita! Sunita, look, what, what's the matter? I can't get out. Well, it, it's not what Tracy said, is it? Please, I just can't. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, wait! Come on. Gotta get her home. Ma, what's happened? Never mind. Sunita! What the hell's going on? Look, she, she don't want to talk to you. But she's going to have to talk to me. You can't leave me high and dry like this. It's okay. I just can't. It's because I know you don't want us to. Not really. Not deep down. Have I said that? Maybe not to me. But I can see it in your face anyway. You don't want to. I'm sorry. Come on. I can't believe this. You didn't want to marry me, did you? I don't suppose I did, no. But I would have done, for your sake. Because that's how much I care about you. Yeah, and we would have been really happy. Yeah, well, why not? All the people seem to be able to make it work. Anyway, thanks for being honest. Well, I'm regretting that already. Look, what you reckon we just forget about the wedding thing, you know? Go back to the way it was before that. It was the wedding thing that spoiled everything. We were happy before that. No. No. Well, what if we have the occasional date, just to see how things go? No. Well, that's the end of the line then, is it? See you.